What's up everyone? It's your boy LJ and as promised I bought myself some new toys so I'm gonna be sharing that with you in this video. So as I mentioned in the previous video I was looking into adding some more things to my garage gym um, and so I ended up getting some new lat attachments. I didn't actually need any more um, but you know, I wanted to buy myself some toys. Uh, it was Black Friday and then there were some Cyber Monday deals. Now what you're about to see, uh, they're fairly similar to the MAG grips. Um, MAG stands for Maximum Advantage Grip. And this company, they sell some really cool uh, lat attachments, but they're pretty pricey. So of course, when that happens, there's bound to be knockoffs. These right here, these are a knockoff of the mag grips. Um, if made in the USA is something that you look for when you buy products, uh, this is not it for you. I saw the post by Garage Gym Experiments uh, on Monday morning, I think, and I had already been keeping an eye on these um, on Amazon. Uh, so as soon as I saw the post, I actually went ahead and bought it. The Garage Gym Experiment link actually sends you to the Walmart website and also on Walmart these are known as everyday essentials. You can actually find these on Amazon as well. The company is Balance From. Um, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of different companies that sell the same exact thing. The Walmart deal was like 77 bucks plus shipping. Hard to pass up. It was basically like 60 bucks, 50 bucks off of the Amazon price. So I just pulled the trigger and did it right away. Uh, but I'm gonna get to the unboxing real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, whoa, that does not need to fit. The tape is actually, it was pretty tore up to be honest when I when I got this box. Um, and so it, the box was pretty beat up. It was already torn. I think I've seen this on a few others. Um, it, same thing happened to them. But this does come with five pieces. Like I said, it was around $78 because there was a deal. So this is the first script, the longest script. Oh man, okay. So it looks like all of the pieces are actually individually bubble wrapped, which is just great. I mean, you don't want them getting dinged up as uh, uh, while they're shipping, even though <laughs> the box itself is pretty tore up. Oh, crap. Don't mind the struggle. This is probably gonna happen for all of them. Uh, so here's the first piece here, pretty solid, it's not tore up or anything. I've seen some reviews on Amazon where some of these look like they're like, the, like the rubber coating um, is chipped or it came off or whatnot, tore off a little bit. I did read that these uh, rings, they seem pretty flimsy, so I guess uh, I'm going to find out right after this because I am going to get my workout in and I'm going to show you all how all of these like kind of vary from grip to grip. So that's the longest piece that's in here. Here's another one. It's a... Uh, one of the medium sized ones that come in this entire package. Um, and actually, I guess that's been a gripe for some people is the fact that there's two similar ones like this. And I'm actually going to pull the other one just for comparison. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's a pretty big gripe uh, for uh, as far as I've noticed uh, is that the the grips are fairly similar. Um, so some people mentioned that they'd hope that it would come with like a di slightly different variation of it. Um, especially if you're getting five pieces and you end up with two that are fairly similar. Three, because the smaller ones apparently are also kind of similar. Seems kind of like, it seems kind of like, wasteful, but here you go. So these are the two that are fairly similar. I mean, the grip itself, I mean, you can tell it's, there's one that's slightly longer. The angle of the actual grips is slightly different. One's a little more horizontal and the other one kind of leans out to the, to the outside. So anyhow, again, pretty good shape. Not too bad, uh, not dinged up or anything. And I actually like the fact that there isn't a logo on them. Uh, for some reason, I mean, if you notice, most of, this, <laughs> most of the stuff that I'm wearing in these videos, and of course, most of the time it's Under Armour hoodie or whatever. I don't like to wear stuff that's like too loud. I don't like to see logos on stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just weird like that. Very much a minimalist person, so anyhow. 
Um, now here's one of the smaller ones. Right here. Oh man, I swear. One of the smaller groups. Uh, interesting setup here. I guess uh, I'll find out shortly how to actually use this. Uh, and again, uh, just like the medium one, this other one that's left here is looks like it's fairly similar in size. All right, so let's just get this box out of the way so we can get a little closer to the camera. All right. All right, so there is a, there is a slight difference in both of these. I mean, again, it's with the way these uh, handles are actually angled. That's the biggest difference that I see, as well, obviously, the size. Again, it's like with any little exercise, the smallest tweak will change how a muscle is targeted or what muscle is targeted. So... There's got to be some type of difference in these, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, shoot, look, I actually just noticed this one is a little bit... All right, these two smaller ones. Looks like these two smaller ones have a little bit of a... Oh, I mean, they're not tears, but let's see if you can see this here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, or if I'm going to do a good job of like showcasing these like little divots. Um, same thing with this other one. Looks like there's a small little thing going on right there. But anyways, for 77 bucks plus shipping and taxes, not too bad um, in comparison to the 129 and then in comparison to the Mag Grips. Again, these are toys <laughs> for me anyways. So, I mean, I knew I was going to drop some money, but I also didn't want to go overboard with the amount of money that I was going to spend. Um, and I did want some... Uh, bang for my buck so uh yeah so i'm actually gonna hit up my back workout real quick um i was holding off of my back workout because i wanted to get a use of, out of these attachments i did hit shoulders already typically <laughs> on thursdays i'll hit shoulders and back but i held off because i wanted to put these into use and get some video shots of that so i'm gonna get to it um stick around and uh let's see how this goes That was a pretty quick workout. I was trying to use every single attachment and get at least 10 reps each on each set. So I only did two sets for each attachment just so that I can get a quick feel for it. How I felt my hands, how I felt my back. Pretty solid workout. Some of the uh, grips do feel a little awkward and I don't know <laughs> if it's just getting used to it. Some of the grips are very different from what I'm used to doing uh, with any type of lat pull down. So that could have been a big reason why. I mean, my forearms were on fire on some of them. And uh, yes, my back was on fire. My lats were on fire. Hands down, for as quick as the workout that it was, it was fairly solid, so can't complain. Now, I want to mention that the rings, the rings um, on these things, I mean, they do feel somewhat flimsy. Um, they sound flimsy when you're attaching it to the carabiner. Also, <laughs> if you noticed and if I put the video up, I'm not sure, but on pretty much every single attachment, I struggled to put it on the carabiner. Um, it was just a very tight fit and I think a lot of it has to do with the actual rubber coating that's around these things. Uh, so this part here tends to be fairly uh thick so the carabiner is not wide enough on some of it to go on there with no problem so i did struggle on some uh when i was switching them out putting them in it definitely was not a quick transition so i'm actually going to show you what i mean again it's just the shape that it is i mean and the rubber coating so even while it's on there you kind of have to just finagle it on there and push it on it's finally on there if I don't get a carabiner with a bit of a wider entry here, um, 
what I might do is just get a few of these for uh, every attachment. That way I can just throw them on and throw them off a lot quicker. Aside from that, it seems like it's going to be worth it. Aside from the little carabinery shoe, it is what it is. I'm happy with it. The grip is dope on it. Can't complain. I mean, five pieces, 88 bucks after shipping and tax. For me, it was a no-brainer. So I'm going to put the link to all of these things, though. I'm going to put the link to the mag grips uh, down in the description. I'm going to put the link to the Walmart deal or the Walmart version of this. I don't know if the deal will still be going on uh, by the time this video goes up. And I'm also going to put the link to the Amazon version of these just so that you can uh, have your choice in case the deal in Walmart is not available anymore. I don't know, maybe you have a Amazon gift card, Walmart gift card, and you want to splurge on these things. Uh, you'll have some options. That's it. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> That's it. Thanks again for watching. This is your boy, Alj, and I'll catch you next time.